In this video, we're going to go over using the Live Dashboard. The Live Dashboard is located on the tagging page and is labeled Live Dashboard, as you can see here. If you need assistance actually connecting to the tagging page, you can take a look at the previous video labeled Connecting to the Tagging Page. Please note that before starting a Live Dashboard, you must have a game started. Data will not start coming through unless that game is started. Now we're going to go ahead and open up the Live Dashboard and take a look. As you can see, it will automatically take you to this 3x3 page. It will display the away team and the home team scores for that game. If you'd like to change the data, what you can do is you could go to the top right hand corner and select the change data button. This will open up a column on the right hand side. Here you can select between one, two, and three columns. For the most part, you're probably gonna want three columns selected. If you'd like more data points, what you can do is on the left hand side of this page, you can select the box and make sure they are checked. As you can see here, they are adding themselves to the bottom of the page itself. If you'd like to move those to the top, what you can do is you could select the three lines on the right hand side and move that up. As you can see, release side is now gonna be located in that top left hand corner. You can add as many data tiles as you'd like. You will just have to scroll down the page to actually view them. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see that you could switch between um, Imperial and metric. Imperial is going to be things like inches and miles per hour, whereas metric is going to be kilometers per hour and centimeters. Once you have completed making all the changes you would like, you can select just on the page to the left hand side and it will remove that change data option. If you would like to get rid of the URL at the top, what you can do is you could select full screen. When selecting full screen, it will take you to a page where you can only see the data. If you'd like to exit full screen, what you can do is you can select the full screen button, the X, or escape. In order to exit the live dashboard, all you have to do is close the page. Like so. A list of the definitions will be provided in the text below, and this will conclude the live dashboard video.